it was probably the first week in July of 2003. And all of a sudden, the phone started ringing. I said, hello. And I heard a voice say, Gary, this is Mike Makovsky. He said, we need to know the status of the HAFU pipeline. At least what I, I wrote down in my notes was HAFU. Uh, and, and I didn't recognize this pipeline. I had studied the infrastructure of Iraq for the previous six, seven months. I knew the, where every pipeline was. So I'd never heard of this Kirkuk to HAFU pipeline. So my curiosity was aroused. Uh, I said, okay, I said, uh, who wants to know? He said, oh, top priority. And I said, was that Doug Fyth? And he said, above Fyth. So I go out the next, next day, and uh, I was spending probably an hour to an hour and a half every day with Godbon at that point. I said, uh, Thomer, can you tell me the, the status of the Kirkuk to Hafu pipeline? Well, at that point, I looked at him. He, he looked like he was having a heart attack. He just got, he tensed up. And uh, he looked at me, he said, Gary, you don't want me to ask that question of this organization. And I said, and I looked at him and I said, okay, I'm game. Uh, why shouldn't I be asking that, officially asking that question? And he said, well, he said, there are a lot of people in this country and certainly a lot of people in this ministry that fe fe feel like the, the biggest reason why the U.S. came into Iraq is to take our oil and give it to Israel. He said, if I go out with a question like that at this point, he said, I'd just be confirming their convictions. And when he said Israel, all, all of a sudden it dawned on me that it was Haifa, not Hafu, and it was, it was a pipeline from Kirkuk to Haifa. And at that point, I recognized that, yes, we were dealing with something very, very sensitive that could be part of that inf information requested that we results in soldiers being killed. And so I said, well, this is, I thought, well, this is a hot potato. So I went back uh, to, the, uh, to the palace, uh, and Mike called again at 4 o'clock, and he said, okay, what's the status? And I said, Mike, I said, look, this is a hot potato you've requested here. I said, this is, this is serious. I said, I didn't realize it was Haifa that you were talking about. I said, uh, I need for you, if you truly want the status report on this, I need for you to put it in writing, tell me exactly what it is you need and why you need it, and I'll sit down with Ambassador Bremer and we'll discuss how, how we go about doing this. And at that point, the line went dead, uh, and so there was no response, uh, and he never called back. 